But Almighty Allah provided to them the proofs through His chosen messengers and bearers of the trust of His message, age after age till the process came to end with Prophet Muhammad, and His pleas and warnings reached finality. He ordained livelihoods with plenty and with paucity. He distributed them narrowly as well as profusely. He did it with justice to test whomever he desired, with prosperity or with destitution, and to test through it the gratefulness or endurance of the rich and the poor. Then he coupled plenty with the misfortune of destitution, safety with the distresses of calamities and pleasures of enjoyment, with pangs of grief. He created fixed ages and made them long or short and earlier or later, ending them with death. He had made death capable of pulling up the ropes of ages and cutting them sonder. He knows the secrets of those who conceal them, the secret conservation of those who engage in it, the inner feelings of those who indulge in guesses, the established certainties, the elkings of the eyes, the inner contents of the hearts, and the depth of the unknown. He also knows that what can be heard only by bending the holes of the ears, the summer resorts of ants and winter abodes of the insects, resounding of the cries of wailing women and the sound of steps. He also knows the spots in the inner sheets of leaves where fruit grow, the hiding places of beasts, namely caves in mountains and valleys, the hiding holes of mosquitoes on the trunks of trees and their herbage, the sprouting points of leaves in the branches, the depreeing points of semen passing through passages of loins, small rising clouds and the big giant ones, the drops of the rain in the thick clouds, the particles of dust scattered by whirlwinds through their skirts, the lines erased by rain floods, the movements of insects on sand dawns, the nests of winged creature on the cliffs of mountains, and the singing of chattering birds in the gloom of their brooding places. And he knows whatever has been treasured by mother of pearls and covered under ocean waves, all that which is concealed under darkness of night, and all that on which the light of day is shining, as well as all that on which sometimes darkness prevails, and sometimes light shines, the trace of every footstep, the feel of every moment, the echo for every sound, the motion of every lip, the abode of every living being, the weight of every particle, the sobs of every sobbing heart, and whatever is on the earth, like fruits of trees or falling leaf, or settling place of semen, or the congealing of blood or clot, and the developing of life and embryo. On all this he suffers no trouble, and no impediment hampers him in the preservation of what he created, nor any longer, or grief hinders him from the enforcement of commands and management of the creatures. His knowledge penetrates through them, and they are within his counting. His justice extends to all of them, and his bounty encompasses them despite their falling short of what is due to him. O Lord! You deserve handsome description and the highest esteem. If a wish is directed towards you, you are the best to be wished for. If hope is reposed in you, you are the most honor to be hoped for.